eyes are focused on the pitch. From the bleachers to even you at home watching. Said, the last home match, Republic got beat by one of those long shots. Of but I want you to take a closer look. Some of the stars are not the players. They are in the stands. Good to see you. One of the stars is John Alameda. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. He has nonverbal autism and finished the Boston Marathon this year. So tonight, John is actually being recognized by the team for his accomplishments. He's being honored as co-captain of the game. It's a special night not only for him, but most of the people in this section. We're all together to celebrate autism and our differences. And even though our kids have different abilities, they each have gifts and they love going out together as a community. About 50 families are here, each with a loved one who has autism. <laughs> John, John. They've designated a certain area that's sensory friendly and away from a lot of the crowds and noise. There's also a sensory tent. I'm so glad that they actually have a space for children with special needs because sometimes loud noises and music and stuff can, can get them a little bit like, you know, on edge because I know with her, loud noises get to her. They're also here to root on someone special too. Hey, blah, blonde, yes. A blonde babe, your blonde babe. Andrea is John's girlfriend. And how much do you care about him? <laughs> with all lot. your heart? Yeah. Yes. John, tonight's co-captain, is being honored on the pitch. Hey, hi. Nice to meet you, Ben. Vanessa, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. At the end of tonight, no matter what happens here, in their hearts, they've already won. You're the captain. That was so great. And while this may be the second sensory friendly night they've had, Sac Republic FC says this is the start of more to come.